Welcome back, ladies and germs, to another episode of Manga Transdub Theater, where we take public domain Japanese comics, Englishize them, and then make funny noises. I'm your host, translator, sound engineer, director, and greedy boss man, Nicholas Tyson. Today, we have another exciting installment of Kabashima and Oda's Shochan Adventures. In our previous episode, Squirrel and Sho spent their summer vacation starring in a play, singing alone in prison, and nearly causing a riot. You can check out that episode on this channel, but for today we have... Oh wait, before I get into this, I just wanted to let you guys know, if you're watching this, that I will be at um, Anime Iowa um, on Saturday the 13th of July. I believe from 6.30, but make sure you check the schedule for that. Um, I will be doing a live performance of my manga transdubs, so if you happen to be at Anime Iowa on Saturday, stop by and say hello. Alright, let's get into it. So today's episode is titled Meguru Inga, The Wheel of Fate. Or maybe Wheeling Fate, maybe Turning Fate would be better, actually, given the subject of the episode. Twisting Fate might work well. Uh, and the Inga here is literally the word for karma, the Buddhist concept of karma. So unlike the other fate word in Japanese, which is Unmei, uh, we're actually talking about something that's mostly bad, bad fate. Not, not a good fate. Anyway, let's get started. While Sho was out, his home caught fire and completely burned down. Fire! Fire! Later, Squirrel and Sho returned home and surveyed the smoldering ruins of the building. We've got nowhere to sleep now. Nothing's left. They torched all our books, too. And likewise, if they didn't go to work, they'd have nothing to eat. What do we do now? Guess we gotta find a job. Straight away, the pair went to look for employment. I wonder where we can find someone to hire us. <laughs> By the way, these are this is a child. Just in case anyone forgot. <laughs> Man, I'd be willing to do anything. Sho was hired as a herdsman to drive a horse cart. Yep, yep. That's for you Avatar fans out there. <laughs> Gotta make a living somehow. The horse cried out in struggle, for the hill was just too much. It's too heavy, show. I can't cut it. <laughs> what was the boss man thinking? How much did he put on there? Don't worry, I'll help pull. That said, when Sho took over pulling the cart himself, it just rolled back down the hill. It's moving! It's moving! Watch out! Watch out! Oh, wow, 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 <laughs> The boss took no time to chew out Squirrel and Sho and fired the pair of them on the spot. You two idiots can pack your bags! Oh, man! Oops, I forgot Squirrel's line. Oh, man! Eh, there's no convincing him. Production values, yay. <laughs> so they got themselves a job at a tempura stand. Ugh, the oil splatters all over the place. Oh, I want to try some. Oh, y y you know, when, it, when, when they're ready. While they worked, a beggar passed by and, after noting how poor he was, asked for something to eat. Oh, I got no job of my own, and my belly sure is grumbling. Unemployment must be a real problem. That's how it is being poor. Sho heard what the beggar had to say, and by and by gave him something to eat. Ah, uh, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I'm so grateful to you, young man. Again, I'm slipping back into my Lorax voice. Oh, ah, oh. oh, production values. <laughs> Ah, uh, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I'm so grateful to you, young man. Production values today are great. But the old man who owned the tempera stand was furious, and so he kicked Sho and Squirrel to the curb. You, you idiots! Have you been giving my temper away for free? Oh, man. But, but he was so down on his luck. Sho then got a job going about picking up waste paper. Now we're picking up waste paper. Hey, you guys! 
Okay. Um, <laughs> that's not what Sho says. Um, he says, Kazooie, which is like, it's wasty. It's a lot of waste. Which is, um, it's actually, a, it's a catchphrase from an old Rakugo performance. And I, I don't know. <sniffs> Jokes are untranslatable. Once they were all full up, they loaded the basket onto a cart and headed back to the row house. So the row house in this case is a, is a Nagaya, which um, in the Edo period and well into the 20th, in fact, even today, really, they still exist. It's a kind of like house slash business that were really common in, in urban areas. Hoo oh boy, this sure is hard work. But it's good work if you can get it. While Sho and Squirrel were separating, separating out the paper scraps. Yeah, sure is dirty work. Pretty thankless, too. Sho's eyes lingered on something rather peculiar. Hey! What, what you got there? It was an old button with unusual lettering on it. I don't think this was made in Japan. It is very unusual. Sho went over to his suit and replaced a button that was falling off with this new one. It's been a real pain since this button came loose. But this size is all wrong, though. It, it looks weird. Just then, though, the button twisted almost nonchalantly into place, and things suddenly took a turn for the better. Ah, that'll do nicely. <laughs> you sure were down on your luck, Sho. That's when a large Arab man suddenly appeared before them. <laughs> as, as, as you do. What? What is it you need? I can grant you but three wishes. Who, who are you? Turns out it was a magical button, like something out of an Arabian tale. Ha, I, I thought people like you were supposed to come out of a lamp. Ain't that something? But without breaking a sweat, the man prepared for them a sumptuous feast. This is some real curious cuisine. It's... it's yummy. Real yummy. Later, while Sho was plunking away at the piano, Squirrel noticed someone at the door. Hello, hello, little turtle. Do, 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 do. Is, is that a tortoise at the door? No, he actually doesn't... He doesn't say, is that a tortoise? He says, Sho-chan. Tare ga kita yo. Um, which just means someone's here. Uh, I'm trying to explain again. I'm trying to explain a joke, and it doesn't work. Sorry about that. After the man had returned to his magic button, Squirrel and Show suddenly remember that they had to get back to the row house. I completely forgot. We're waste pickers now. What a couple of dum dums we are. Sho called the Arab man back out and commanded him to transform the stables into something more extravagant. Could you turn the stables here into a palace? You really want to do that? They called their old boss from the cart haulers over so that they might turn him into a hapless beggar. Ah, you're here! Oh my, oh my, oh my! I never knew you were a man of means. <laughs> well, we're not really ones to brag. After taking in a splendid meal, they invited him to take a bath. I haven't had a bath in, in over a week. Thank you so much. Feels so good. <laughs> Take as long as you need. As he was finishing up, Sho twisted the magic button, and their old boss found himself naked in the stables, which had reverted back to its original state. Where, where, where are all my clothes? <laughs> you should see your face. It's a talking horse again. Then, Sho gave a magnificent kimono to the beggar's daughter. Oh, this does not turn out well. Anyway. I've never worn something so expensive in my whole life. Oh, it's no trouble, my dear. Take this ring, too. They called the Tempura stand, stand owner over to the palace that the Arab man had created for them. Ah, welcome. Oh, what a marvelous estate. <laughs> Truth is, this place belongs to the young noble lady over here. 
The old man just had to have the young woman's hand in marriage. Pardon my impertinence, milady, but your, um, personage, uh, um, sh sure is great. Oh, why, thank you. Show twisted the button, and the young woman turned back into a beggar. Uh, ah! You can take me back to your shop now. <sighs> God, this is such a cool... <laughs> the button's three wishes had all been used up. Looks like this thing only has three wishes. That shucks. They called the Arab man back out to set him free. Thank you for all you've done. Farewell, young man. That's when he disappeared in a cloud of white smoke. When you think about it, we sure got up to some mischief. That's one way of putting it, I guess. <laughs> kind of mean if you ask me. Yes, squirrel. Exactly. <laughs> All right. While Squirrel and Show were giggling to themselves, they started off on their next adventure. We'll take a break, then get back to adventuring. Wait, wait a minute. What do you think all this was? Yucka, yucka, yucka. And scene. That's all for this week's episode. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, if you're going to be at Anime Iowa, don't forget to come out and see me on Saturday. Well, that's the 13th, not this Saturday. And if you really liked this video, you can support my work on Patreon. The URL for that is www.patreon.com forward slash it came from the manga. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter, links for which can be found in the description below. I'll be back next week with another episode. Actually, no, I will not be back. Well, I will be back next... Okay, i got to explain this. Um, this is the this will be the last uh, Shochan episode for at least a couple of weeks. There will be another manga transdub theater episode next week, but we'll be doing a little bit something special while I'm away on vacation. But until then, don't let the boss man get you down. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.